I introduced House Joint Resolution 38 this year in response to Alaska Railroad Corporation claims to an exclusive use easement on private homestead patent properties where the federal government never owned this property interest and could not lawfully transfer it to the Alaska Railroad Corporation when it became an instrumentality of the state in 1982 under the Alaska Railroad Transfer Act. This unfortunate situation has left many hundreds of private property owners without the use of their own land and unable to access their property or traditional use areas where the public has been allowed to go. House Joint Resolution 38 addresses this issue in three different ways. First, it asks and gives legislative approval for the governor or the Alaska Railroad to disown any property that has been unlawfully taken. Number two, it provides direction that if a property interest was not available to Alaska Railroad Corporation when it was under federal ownership, it certainly is not available to them now under state ownership. Finally, House Joint Resolution 38 urges our congressional delegation to take appropriate action to encourage the recognition of validly held property rights that were not conveyed under the Alaska Railroad Transfer Act of 1982. House Joint Resolution 38 will not affect any lawfully acquired right, title, or interest in land that the Alaska Railroad currently possesses. House Joint Resolution 38 will not affect in any way the safe operation of the Alaska Railroad. I am very pleased to report that yesterday my office received a letter of support from United States Congressman Don Young in full support of House Joint Resolution 38. What is very significant about Congressman Young's support is that he was Alaska's representative to Congress during the debate and passage of the Alaska Railroad Transfer Act of 1982. Congressman Young wrote to thank me for shining a spotlight on this troubling issue where agencies have clearly misinterpreted the intent of the Alaska Railroad Transfer Act. He says in his letter right here, that House Joint Resolution 38 clearly lays out what can only be described as a failure of the agencies to follow the clear intent of Congress to dutifully recognize the tenets of due process which has needlessly resulted on a cloud on title of land to many property owners along the right-of-way. He went on further to say that there is no way a bill annexing private property rights, especially without due notice or compensation, would have passed Congress in 1982. Congressman Young concludes that if the federal government did not own a property interest, it certainly had no authority to transfer that to the state. Then he says that there is no canon of statutory construction or even a common sense reading that could argue an unconstitutional taking of property rights. Thank you, Congressman Young, for setting the record straight on this important property rights issue. Restoration of property rights to hundreds of Alaskans along the railroad corridor has not been an easy journey, but it has been one well worth taking, and I am very pleased for the significant support I have received from so many people across this state in helping resolve this issue.